Thursday, November 19th. Now there's a large part of Colossians chapter 2 that has to do with rules and regulations and it finishes like this at verse 20. You have died with Christ and he has set you free from the spiritual powers of this world. So why do you keep on following the rules of the world such as don't handle, don't taste, don't touch? Such rules are mere human teachings about things that deteriorate as we use them. These rules may seem wise because they require strong devotion, pious self-denial and severe bodily discipline, but they provide no help in conquering a person's evil desires. Now, as a holiness denomination, the Church of the Nazarene has had a mixed relationship with rules. There were times in the past when we were judged to be holy by how well we kept the rules, what we did on a Sunday, where we were seen in public, what we did eat and didn't eat, did drink and didn't drink, and who we did those things with. Now, our emphasis is more on our relationship with God and how he transforms us from the inside out and encourages us to live that transformation publicly. But for this thought for the day, what I wanted to share with you is something I came across on coronavirus rules and the effect they have been having on families. <laughs> 